Parliament, wherever you're watching from, my name is Misty Blessing Uba, the Speaker of this Parliament. Parliamentarians are seated here, like usual, with you parliamentarians in diaspora, as we discuss topical issues that affect you and I, be it social, economic, non-political, religious, and general. I would like to thank GSR 360 Studios, Gamma Communications, Nigerian Breweries, Guinness PLC, Unilever, PLC we thank you all for being part of this. Here we are, let's unveil the parliamentarians today as we touch this topical issue that 21st century has brought to us. Is it fair or unfair? Before I unveil it, let me unveil the parliamentarians. On my immediate left is Prince Albert Uba. Thank you very much. Good. Next on my immediate right is Jalili Atiku. My people, how are you? And on my far right is Dominic Mokwe. Thank you very much, yes. Good. And so welcome, let us unveil the topic. Social media. The effects on the reading culture of our youths. We will be back after this short commercial break to do justice to this topic. still the parliament wherever you're watching from and so social media is a 21st century effect i must say but has it brought the good tidings to the reading culture of our youths even when i don't want to talk about youths what have we the adults has it really brought the positive to us in our reading culture or the negative of us <laughs> what's your view on this uh, thank you <laughs> very much mr misty uh, Social media and the effects on the reading culture, uh, I think in Nigeria, the topical issue, like you know, social media is part of the mass media. It's an integral part of the mass media, uh, which purpose is to educate, entertain, and uh, inform. But you see, if we're talking vis-a-vis -vis the reading culture, social media, has helped our youth, even the adults, in knowing some of the things we would not have known uh, as it were. I mean, you have the Google, which is the all-knowing uh, master, uh, the Wikipedia and all that. It helped our youth in doing researches okay. in the academics. And but so, in your opinion, it is purely positive. Uh, no, I, I was coming to that. It is. It's, uh, it has ambivalent function. Like I said, the media, the, the mass media, is there to educate, entertain, and inform the people, and that is what the social media is doing. But if you are, if you are relating it with the real culture, yeah. you find out that, <coughs> excuse me, uh, most often than not, our youths nowadays no longer have that reading culture uh, as it were you know compared to our days when we, yeah. when we were in school because all they do now is go to google download the topics and they pour it maybe at, 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 at an instance or an exam period when it is needed all right that's one two another ill i think that is major is so many sites that are there in the social media Especially, you know, those sites that are not meant for the growing uh, teenager. teenagers. Yes, you, you find that. Especially, anyway, the social media, even though everybody is getting to imbibe uh, by it now, is meant for a section of the society. Right. Even though, even though, even the bourgeoisie, even though everybody is coming to imbibe by it, you know, the bourgeois uh, kids have the opportunity that is. Uh, near far near far away from those of the indigent students to go into sites websites that are hitherto not known to us as adults and you talk about YouTube over 1,000 videos are being downloaded in an hour in every one hour in YouTube and these are kids are youths spend most of the time viewing on it 
this side, including some obscene or ordinary scenes in, 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 in this side. And so ample time is being spent yeah. watching this obscene film and on the social media than bending down to read their books. Okay. Article. Yeah. The social media and the effects on the reading culture. What's your take? But, uh, sometimes ago, it should be about three or four weeks ago, I was in a uh, cyber cafe, and uh, like this secondary school girl who just walked in, and he said, excuse me, I have an assignment to do. And I thought he came to make some research. Yeah. And I just saw her giving uh, one small handout, like uh, something she just wrote, some topic, one, two, three, about four, and gave it to the, to the cyber cafe attendant, and I said, please download this for me, and then print it out for me, it's so my assignment I'm submitting in the school. Then I look at her. <laughs> no, so, so I felt, I felt like crying, very, 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 crying for this very bad. Yeah. Honestly speaking, but of course I know when you talk about the effects of uh, social media, yeah. I will tell you that to me, yeah, as, a prof as a professional, I have used it a lot to broadcast my work, to put myself into the limelight and do a lot of yeah. things. But I was able to navigate that because I am not from, I am from the pre. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I have been back with the, the attitude of culture, but but to this generation is killing. He has destroyed the reading culture. You will see people walking on the way. Even if they go to the library, they will have a phone there, this thing, and they will be going. You know, they're not, they're not reading the books. Are not there. Yeah. They just stay looking at the book, but they will be going. But the issue is, you just we will talk about reading. The reading is supposed to push you further. Yeah. When you go into social media and you are pushing yourself only to the information you get on the yeah, media, on the media. you are restricted. Yeah. Because most of the information may not even be correct. When you are in academics, they tell you if you are going to cite a particular yeah, issue. Sure that it, yeah, it's not they will, they will, they will tell you, put the date you cite, you, you, you yeah, visited there. Yeah. Because there may be a change. In those, in those informations. Then how do you know that the information you are also assessing is either correct or not correct? correct? Because, like, for example, now if somebody said, yes, like, well, they are saying there was a bomb in, in France, yeah. and there is this uh, city check, yeah. you know, and you have to Google there and check whether your, your, your friends are alive. Or so so I went through and I was looking at my friends' list. I couldn't see the name, and I was beginning to be panic. Yeah. But of course, I couldn't rely on that. Yeah. Because somebody can act into that system yeah, and say, yeah, this guy is safe, this guy is safe. So I have to call. You yeah, know? Say is, is he the so the effects of the social media, of course, I will agree with the prince. He has his own uh, advantage, but his advantage is it's so numerous okay. and it's killing the reading culture. Okay. Uh, uh, Dominic, the social media and the reading culture on our youths. Yes, thank you very much, my speaker. I will say social media for me is a very good thing that has come to this earth. But the major problem we are having with social media now is that most parents or most individuals don't understand the meaning of what they are using as social media. Okay. Let me take for instance now. Today we hear youth these days join ISIS, join Boko Haram through what? Social media. Okay. Whose fault? Not my fault, not your fault, not their parents' fault. But also, also something we have to think, uh, think there is this. It's our own fault, generally, not one person. Everybody is involved. Okay. Now, the other day I was checking out something on the internet, why? Because I had that privilege to see what and what makes up so and so thing online. But checking it, I had to find out that even from the internet you say to it, we can sit down somewhere with our friends and say, okay, let's try what we need to do in the chemistry labs. Those days in secondary school, yeah. universities, and see what we can create out for ourselves. But no, these days people go in there to create things that are not relevant, things that are destructive, such like bombs, guns, which from social media you can easily pick up points from there and then cut up something. Yeah. So for me, I would say social media is not a bad idea, but at the same time, it is very, very bad. Well, why do you say it's our fault? Yeah. Yeah. Why, 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 why are we going to be blamed? Why, 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 why am I to be blamed for that? Are you blaming me for the conversations that you don't even check yourself? Okay. I don't know. Now, now, as a growing student during my time, I don't remember having a cell phone, a laptop, nor a desktop system. Okay. But these days... Yeah, no, 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 today it has come to stay. Yes, yeah, there are advantages of it. So why are you blaming us for are the we, are we, are we Are we blame parents? We. Now, because most of us now, we go out, we have funds of 1 million, 500,000, given to a kid. What stops you from buying a Nokia 310 that has none of those functions? And when he, he or she is up to that age of this particular function, you give it to her or him. 
to, uh, to understand what is happening. She wants to do with that phone or he wants to do with that phone. Not when he's at the age of five or eight, she has a phone with um, internet and when she goes out, she hears her friend saying, ah, I watch something like this, so, and she goes to that place and begins to Google it. Most times we leave our, we leave our houses for our first place of, uh, our, of job. Before we come back, our kids will watch um, uh, wrestling, we watch different kind of things, and when we come back, we say, come on, what's the thing? But when you are not there, have you ever asked why or how or what and what have they watched when we are not there? Okay. Uh, 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 Prince. Yes. Let's look at the negative sides of this social media. Well, like I said, it, it came uh, with its ambivalent uh, nature. Yeah. Yeah, the negative aspect of it is that, is that it has discouraged people research. from reading. No, well, apart from reading that. No, 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 you know, really, did he discourage research? Uh, well, yes. I don't need to carry a book. I don't need to carry. A, I don't need to carry an encyclopedia you do need. on the table you do to run through it you do to need. research for it. You do need because no, because it's an self, self, self is encyclopedia. Excuse me. Yes, there are, there's an extent to which information are being downloaded on the on on, on the social media. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You, if you do some research, you find at the end at the table of the seat, you can do more research, more reading. Yeah. They refer you to textbooks. All right. Yeah. I don't know whether I would use the Wikipedia or something to do yes. research. Yes. And they don't give you the the lengthy information as you would have needed or as contained in textbooks. No, no. The truth is that you want us to be as orthodox as we used to be. I need to keep ten books on no, the no, table no. because I'm researching. That's the problem. That's the problem. Everything about Africa. Now, everything that is Africa, everything that is Nigeria, so to speak, is evil or is black. All right. And everything that is white is, is supreme. Don't and everything, excuse me, that's yes. what we believe. Whatever we do today was bestowed on us by the Western world. And the unfortunate incident is that we, that they give this to, to we, we tend to overdo it. Yes. And I can give you several instances. I have an opportunity of attending a seminar which has to do with why kids go, as a criminologist, why kids go into crime. Yes. And one of the question, question sorry, that a kid, a, 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 a GS3 girl asked to the chagrin of the of the audience was, excuse me, can is it a crime to sex chat? Ha. Alright. I have never heard that word before, sex chat. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a word that have come from the social media. And, and you know, they want to cow the game. And I told my colleague, I said, look, let us get to know yeah, let's more understand of what is. what is sex chatting. And we drew the game and he said, sex chatting means exchanging text message via the WhatsApp yeah, or via any of the social and, media and platform on the size, the various styles of sex, the, the, you know, on all those things. All right? And everybody was astonished. I'm saying that's one ears of the social media. All right? Like my, my colleague was trying to, to say that parents have a lot to yeah. do. All right? Parents are agents of socialization. Yeah. We owe it a duty to monitor what our kids do. Of course. Even with this uh, uh, recent uh, uh, social media platform, the hazard that we have, that we have, or, or not, there's, there's where we can monitor and restrict access. All right? But the unfortunate thing again is that the kids we have today, I don't know the kind of brain they have. No matter what measures you put in place, <laughs> they, all right? They find a way around it. They demystify it. They find a way around it. They find a way around it. They demystify it, and they have their their yeah, their, their, their way. way. Okay? okay. So that is a problem. Okay. So uh, Atiku, let us look at the positive sides of this social media. Well, uh, the positive is very good. It shrinks the whole world. It brings the world in very like a global village. Yes. Where if you are here, if anything is happening in London, you know instantly. Yeah. You, if you want to converse to your friends, and you have almost about 20 friends, you want them to get information, you pass it very easily, yes. which, is, which is very good. And to me, it's something that I actually, if I want to, that to me, because I, I will say that because I, I have already understood who I am, what I want, what is my direction in life. And I put that in my mind, and I follow it and search what I what that will benefit me in that, you know, 
which is more, 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 more really important. Just like I said, it changed the world. Yeah. You could understand, just like if you're making research, like for example, if I want to give a talk, before I say, I first of all go to Google and type, type the, 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 the topic. I like to know what other people are talking about that, and that will inform me on the, the, the kind of the direction which I will, I will, I will, I will go. And just like what the prince said, uh, he said he's trying to discourage the, it's the word discourage research. I won't want to use that. Yeah. It doesn't discourage research because research also who you are. What, what, what my own concern is about the effects of these social media on the personality see, of of the person. Yeah, see, but unfortunately, the youth who are talking are at the formative stage, and so it has the ability to derail them totally. That is only that you. You, 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 met, you met the social media yeah. when you were already formed from your yeah, opinion yeah, yeah, and psyche. Yeah, yes, that is my that is my fear, you know, and that is to be the concern of this discussion. But because that, excuse me, sir. Yeah. You see, when a child busy holding. Uh, 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 telephone yeah. and busy talking to ten people and just people, he cannot concentrate. Yeah. His attention is always every time he want to see what is his friend as as pushing to yeah. what is going to. So he, he discouraged that person from concentration. Yeah. You know, like one artist says that you are not always not in your presence of yourself. We we don't we is remove us from yeah, the presence because, of because ourselves. Because we're busy. So if you are not in the presence of yourself, you cannot coordinate. You know, so what is the advantage which you ask me? Yeah. They are also very good. You connect you to the world. You connect you to some materials we cannot see, and it also make you bring you like like myself as an artist. When I do any small thing, I have almost about three thousand people or four thousand people on my Facebook. Mm -hmm. I put the information there. Yeah. You know, one of my friends just came in now and said he saw that I have an award. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, he saw it. it was always always there in social media. Yeah. Everybody was saying. And I, at the same time, if you commit crime, as I spread you, it's also spreading it yeah. instantly. So, uh, Dominic, yes. do you think negligence from part of the parents and the society, you know, is part of the issues where this social media is affecting the reading and writing culture? Of course, yes. Now, these days, as a growing boy, after school, I come back home, my mom will tell me, let me see your books. She will cross-check my books, what I did in school, the ones I failed, why do you fail with the next question? And if I don't get it well, she will now have to explain to me for that. All my aunties are home. But these days, nobody cares about these things. Children come back from school, nobody to check their books, nobody to check what they did in school, nobody to check their uniforms and their stockings, how they played and everything. Instead, mothers are busy telling you, ah, my daughter, this mother last week or that party went to, she danced very well. This one started telling you of the new shoe in town and those things. Like the other day, I went for a party somewhere with a friend. They said they're having a birthday party of a six or of a three year old child. What happened? Parents were busy looking at the dance step of the kids, what they were in there. Instead of trying to correct some mistakes, which will lead to some certain things like this uh, 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 old uncles blessing kids of these days. They don't look up these things. We're just a child, like 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 a, 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 a sex uh, 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 whatever on the street, and you bring that out and you say, "Who's going for her?" Are you having that kid? No, you are destroying her or him. You don't know. It is sense of really now these days. For me, sometimes I go to Facebook, look at what is there. I see some things that I, I take as things I can easily discuss outside my friend. See, I saw this thing. Is it true? And someone tell me yes or no. Well, these days you see people they go to Facebook, they write nonsense, they bring propagandas, things that are not relevant, and they hate people. At the same time, destroy people's mindsets. For me, I would say there should be a limit or an age for you or you or whoever. In the terms and conditions of those social media, there are age limits. <laughs> Parliamentarians, we'll be back after this short commercial break to continue with this topic social media and our reading culture. Thank you. 